here. Okay, well, good morning. Um, it's Thursday the 28th, I believe. I think it's the 28th. Look at these little curly cues I got going on. <laughs> I just rolled out of bed and I am coming here to do some fasted cardio. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm not even training for a show. I'm not doing anything. And it's like 6.30 in the morning. But I really enjoy, once I get up and get going, I really enjoy doing fasted cardio. It gets my day started. I just kind of feel refreshed once I do get up and get going and um, sweat a lot and just kind of start my day off being active. But the goal for today is I would like to go through like my kind of my favorite like Cellucor supplements and show y'all um, why I take them, when I take them. Um, so I think it'd just be a good way instead of just like sitting down, go through and explaining each one in one setting, just kind of take you through my day and show you when I take them and why I take them. So if you saw, um, at first I've already taken. Um, I got my BCAAs here. Those are the branch chain amino acids. Those are your essential amino acids and those help with the building blocks of protein. Um, so you get it mainly through your diet, but you can also supplement it um, with a supplement. Um, it's really great for taking, especially during fasted workouts. I always take them during my fasted workouts, um, mainly because they help again with um, muscle building, but they also help with um, preventing that muscle loss or muscle breakdown, especially on a fasted state. If you, um, you know, overexert yourself or you exercise or, you know, train too hard, your body is gonna stop using the sources that are left over, such as like your fat and carbs from the day before or that are already stored in your body and they're gonna start tapping into your muscle supplies for energy. That's why BCAs is really great because they prevent your body from doing that. Um, it's just kind of a way to sustain your endurance too in the gym. And they also help you hydrate, stay hydrated. That's a really big thing too. Um, but these are super, super important um, for keeping your muscle gains basically because we don't want to lose those muscle gains. Um, and like I said, another great thing is they keep you hydrated. So if you stay hydrated, you're going to feel better in the gym, you're going to perform better in the gym, you're just going to do better overall in the gym. Um, so those are super important. Also, you saw that I took some Super HD, which is um, Cellucor's most popular weight loss supplement. Um, I started taking that a couple of weeks ago, just because it's summertime. Um, and I've been pretty lean. Um, for about a couple of weeks now and a couple of months, I don't know, probably about two weeks now, no, two months, sorry. And I haven't really, that's part of me too. I haven't been super strict on my diet because again, I'm not in contest prep, but I am, I am usually consistent with my diet. So that's why I chose to um, add in like a thermo or fat burner um, to help with any fat loss I want to do because it's summertime and we all want to get ready for summer. Um, but Cellucor Super HD is a really great um, weight loss supplement. You know, it's not a magic pill. No weight loss supplement is a magic pill. Um, so, but they are one of my top favorite fat loss pills to take. Um, and I actually have used that during my contest prep before as well. Um, but I decided to start taking that. So um, I take two a day, usually one in the morning when I very first wake up, usually before breakfast, and then another one like around lunchtime. If I do fasted cardio, I take it before my fasted cardio because it's a thermo, so it's speeding up, um, it's heating up your body, and that's how your body's gonna burn those extra calories is the more heated your body is, the more it's gonna burn those calories, and it makes you sweat, and I just prefer it. So I like to take it in the morning um, before my fasted cardio because it kind of helps wake me up some too because it does have caffeine in it since it is a stimulant. Um, so I'd like to take it then. It speeds up my body temperature, makes me sweat, gives me energy. And it helps with fat loss. <laughs> now, I say that in quotations because I don't like to tell people that it's a fat loss pill, that if you take it, you're gonna lose all this fat. I only, only suggest it to people who have an end goal in mind, such as a show or a wedding or some sort of event coming up. Um, and 
if your diet is consistent and you are you're already on a, a weight loss diet um, like a calorie restriction and you are exercising and training regularly and hard because those weight loss pills they're not going to do anything for you but be a big waste of money if your training and your diet are not on point first so um yeah so those are the first two uh silly core products i've taken today so i'm going to do some cardio oh and those of you who have asked for what my fasted cardio routine is like i really don't have I mean, I don't want to, I'm not going to film it because it's, it's nothing exciting. All I do is I get on a treadmill, like I am right now. I get on a treadmill and I usually will set it for like this interval, um, this interval program. I can't even talk. I literally just rolled out of bed, guys. Um, I'll set it for this interval program and I'll do like sprints interval running walking at an incline like a really high incline a, a brisk walk or um, I'll get on one of the ellipticals in here I'll do like a high intensity elliptical training put some good resistance there's also a bike over there I'll use the bike a lot to do to do that as well um, very rarely do I ever actually do like a fasted like workout circuit where I'm doing um, you know, not a cardio machine, but kind of doing like a circuit um, training routine. I prefer to do the cardio machines in the morning because I like to um, watch YouTube here. So I set my phone right here and I cut on my favorite YouTubers or I catch up on social media and I just go to town running and I just get my fast cardio going. But yeah, that's what we're about to do right now. And so I will uh, take you throughout my day with my cellular supplements and... I don't know, that's the plan. We'll see. And I also gotta study. Got to study my pharmacy stuff today. <laughs> okay, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. Just got done with fasted cardio and now I'm about to take um, a serving of the CLK. This is something that's commonly stacked together with the Super HD. You can take these either separate or you can stack these together to enhance or optimize your weight loss journey um but this is clk um i'll take this actually when i'm not taking this because i don't take this like year round again i only take it for a couple of weeks when i'm at like an angle of mine whether it's for a competition or I'm trying to shred down for summertime like i'm doing right now but this you can take year round it's a non-stimulant um, toning blend as you can see here it's a stimulant free fat loss supplement a slim pro which is a natural um appetite satiety controlling supplement that you can um it's found naturally um but it helps you know makes you feel full which this stuff really does when i take this at least like 15 minutes before i eat um i immediately i just don't really have like an appetite which is good for a lot of people who have like an eating problem it also has l-carnitine tartrate in it which l-carnitine is just an amino acid that plays an important role in transporting fatty acids for energy it also has raspberry ketones which is a super natural product that you'll find in a lot of weight loss supplements. Um, raspberry ketones have been proven to help with weight loss, um, and they are considered superfoods. So besides the obvious benefits of enjoying the fruit, they um, contain a ketone or compound that helps support healthy weight loss um, by helping break down the fat. Also, again, it has a CLA, or the conjugated linoleic acid, which helps your body use food for fuel while also supporting lean muscle development. So instead of storing fat into um, your body, it helps your body use that fat as a source to use as energy, um, also for carbs to help use that for building muscle. So this is a super great um, product. I really like using this, but right now I'm taking this in combination with this. So I've already taken one pill of, of the Super HD before my fasted um, workout today. And now I'm about to take this because I'm cooking up some. A typical breakfast, four egg whites, and then I'm about to heat up some oatmeal in the microwave. So it's about 10 o'clock right now, and I just got out of the shower, and I am coming to get me my mid-morning snack. And let's see, what are we gonna have today? I think I'm gonna have some grapefruit. Got a whole bucket right there. That's the lazy way of uh, getting your grapefruit in. I usually just get whole grapefruit and cut them up, but 
I went the lazy route and it just it's just works. You just dig out the wedges and there you go. Um, and then I'm going to have a protein shake. I usually have like a protein shake maybe in the morning and then I'll, after my workouts usually. Um, so I want to get my protein intake up and I don't really have any other like whole food protein. Sometimes I eat like Greek yogurt or something, but that's only 15 grams of carbs, um, carbs, 15 grams of protein. So I want to get a protein shake to give me about 25 grams of protein, how much I would eat in like a normal meal's worth. Um, so I'm going to make a protein shake and I think I'm going to have strawberry flavored. I have like a ton of um, protein sample packs from Cellucor um, that they sent me. So I think I'm going to have a strawberry shake. So I'll show you what I do. So I'm going with the strawberry flavor, strawberry milkshake flavored. I usually don't like strawberry flavored stuff. I love strawberries, but I usually don't like strawberry flavored stuff. But this is actually really good. It's, pro it's actually one of my favorite flavors, and I'm a huge chocolate lover. I love the Slaycor Molten Chocolate uh, Protein, but this is actually really good. This is like my second favorite. Um, so again, I'm taking this to get my protein intake up. Um, this, you know, having a protein powder, if you didn't have any other supplement in your arsenal of your workout uh, supplements, I would definitely suggest getting a protein powder, a really good protein powder. Um, usually most people want one that's lower in fats, lower in carbs, and lower in protein. Cellucor is perfect for that. Um, per serving, they only have 1.5 grams of fat. Um, three carbs, which is really hard to find a good protein that has lower carbs. That means they've um, there's not a whole lot of sugars in the protein, so a lot of times they don't taste that great. But that's why Cellular Core is great because they have great flavors, even though they're really low in sugars. Um, and in 25 grams of protein, that's pretty standard what you're going to find in a protein powder anyways. Um, so this is really great. Again, protein is needed to help maintain muscle or build muscle um, and I, sometimes I'll take anywhere from two to the, sometimes three protein shakes in a day just because um, depending on how my schedule is, a lot of times I can't eat my protein in whole foods just because either I'm working on my pharmacy, like rotations, um, I, or I'm at school, you know, I've been in the past, I've been in school, and so I just can't sit down and eat like a full meal every time. So protein powder is the way to go. So we're going to go ahead and make a protein shake. And what I like to do if I'm at home, um, sometimes I'll make it in the blender, but I don't feel like cleaning up a blender. Who wants to clean up a blender? Cleaning up the protein shakes are hard enough. Um, so I do half uh, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and I do half water. So let's see. I do four, eight ounces, so that's about four ounces of almond milk. And then I'm going to fill the rest up with um, water, so about to the eight ounce mark right there. And we put the lid on after we struggle for a minute. And yeah, just shake, shake, shake. And I'm also also going to have um, some almonds, the honey roasted cinnamon kind. These are so good. I'm going to have some of these. So. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go to the gym. It's 12.41 right now. Um, I haven't eaten lunch yet. I just decided that I wanted to go ahead and just take a pre-workout and go ahead and go to the gym, get that out of the way so I can just study um, for the rest of the afternoon. So I went ahead and had two rice cakes, um, and two caramel rice cakes and a little bit of peanut butter on each. So about um, half a tablespoon of peanut butter on each. And um, that's my favorite pre-workout to take, pre-workout carb. And honestly, when it comes to working out, I prefer to make sure I'm filling my body with some good carbs because I like to kind of re rely on um, making sure I'm getting a good carb source like a fast um, carb source in my body to give me that extra insulin spike and the extra um, energy spike in the gym so a lot of times I can re I can rely only on that carb source um, for energy in the gym which I do prefer to do because as, as I've mentioned before I don't take pre-workout all the time but if I was going to um, which I actually am going to take a little bit of, like a like one scoop of this uh, C4 has or Cellucor has multiple pre-workouts called um, C4 and um, I think there's like gosh I think there's like four or five different brands of it out there my two favorites that I like to take and I've showed this before in my videos is the C4 Nero in the icy blue eyes and then the C4 ripped in um, the cherry limeade these are my favorite flavors and my two favorite Cellucor products 
The Ripped is um, has fat burners in it and also like an energy blend. Um, so it's got like natural energy boosters in there and also caffeine. And, um, and it also has uh, just some, what they call the Ripped blend. So it's also got some natural fat burners you'll find in there like green tea, raspberry ketones, different things like that. Um, that you'll find and then the Nero is just supposed to help you focus more um, mentally just kind of help you hold in like mentally focus on your workout and it also has an energy blend in it as well and it's what it has a blend of what they call neurotropins which is something also found naturally um, in the body that they've also just made um, into one of their products so I really love this brand a lot or this one a lot so I'm gonna take this today just because I've been taking the the ripped um, for a while now for about I don't know, two weeks consistently. Not every day. Again, I only take it whenever I feel like I need that extra boost in the gym or usually on leg days. I always for sure take it on leg days. Um, but I'm going to take just that scoop today. I think I'm doing, I'm doing chest and triceps today because I haven't done that yet this week. Um, my other favorite product that, that I'll usually take when I work out for legs, back, or shoulders, but I'm not going to take this today. I'm just going to show y'all. Um, I think I showed this to you all yesterday, actually. Um, the NO3. I freaking love NO3. This is just a vasodilator. It's a, a pump amplifier, so it just it makes you really vascular. Um, it fills up your veins and your muscles, and it just, I truly believe in it. I think it gives you just that extra good pump in the gym, helps you get that extra rep in, and I just love the way that it, it makes me feel like I just feel that much more like swole or that much jacked. I don't know how to explain it. And my veins pop really well, especially if I'm working upper body. Um, I, I'm pretty like vascular as it is naturally, but when I add in like a vasodilator, like nitric oxide, I, I just, I don't know. It, people think I'm on steroids or something. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad, but I do love this product. I, and this is great. You can take this along. I will take this, um, especially if I work out late at night, if I need like an extra boost in the gym, but I'm not going to take a pre-workout because I don't want to be up all night. So this is a great non-stimulant pre-workout to take. So anything that's got nitric oxide or um, arginine nitrate in it, this is really great to take. Cellicor also makes, this is in capsule form. Cellicor also makes a powder form. It's called CN3. It's a little bit slightly different formulation, but it's basically the same thing. It gives you kind of the same results. It's just in a powder form. It's called CN3. Um, it's just their nitrate version, but this is, uh, this is pretty good. The nitric oxide, I highly suggest this one too. So, but today we're just going to go with the, nope, just kidding. We're going to go with, with the, uh, the Nero. A little bit of scoop of that. I already took my pre-workout carb and that's it. Another thing, like I said, I've already mentioned that before. Um, there's really three components that I made on like a full pre-workout stack, which would be NO3, a pre-workout, C4, and then BCAAs. I always take BCAAs for sure during fasted workouts, um, but sometimes I'll also take them um, on like leg day or back day. Um, cause you can take BCAAs, actually it's suggested to take BCAAs two to three times a day to get like the full benefit, the full effect, but I am 100% confident in my diet because I am on a high protein diet and I take protein supplement, like protein shakes that I don't need that much amino acids, um, or essential amino acids because I'm already getting it from my diet and I'm getting them from my protein that comes from my protein shakes because Cellucor has. Um, a blend of amino acids in their protein. Um, now, I will drink a lot of BCAAs when I am on, co on contest prep um, because I'm not drinking so much protein supplements. Um, and a lot of times I may be restricted in my calories where I'm not getting as many amino acids from my diet. So it just kind of gives or take, just, I don't know, whatever works for your diet and your regimen. Um, but okay, I rambled on way too much as usual, so we're gonna go get a workout on today. So I will see y'all in my post-workout, because I'll probably do a post-workout shake. <laughs> okay, so it's actually about, it's 8.30 right now at night. I actually didn't have a protein shake after my workout earlier today because, as I mentioned, I, um, I didn't eat lunch before I went and worked out, so when I came back after working out, I had my lunch plus um, some sweet potato fries. So I had my chicken, Brussels sprouts and sweet potato fries. So I already had a chicken protein source. I didn't worry about making a protein shake right after I got done working out. So I saved it for um, tonight. So I've already eaten dinner. 
my dinner again was just the ground beef and the kale salad um, that I just had. And so I am still need about 25, 30 grams of protein left to meet today. And so um, a lot of times, you know, I just make a quick, easy shake and just drink it really fast. But to, um, sometimes I get tired of drinking shakes all the time. And so a fun, easy way, just really simple to um, get your protein intake is doing like a 30-second mug cake in the microwave. Um, now, again, there's nothing fancy that goes into this, and it's still protein, so it's still going to kind of be a little bit, you know, on the on the drier side, kind of. Like, it's not going to be an actual cake, but it's really great um, substitute to drinking protein. And I actually did this a lot when I'm in contest prep because it curves my sweet tooth because I have a huge sweet tooth. And so I would do this a lot um, during contest prep because it doesn't add really any extra calories or anything. It's just straight protein, but in like a cake form. So it makes it kind of fun to do. So um, I'm gonna show you how I do that. So for this, I'm going to be using, um, I'm gonna be using the vanilla, the whipped vanilla flavor from Sully Core. I just have a sample of this. So I'm gonna use one scoop of that. In the sample packets, it's two scoops. So one, two scoops is one serving. So that gives you 25 grams of protein. And then to make it kind of rise in the microwave, I'm gonna add some baking powder, about a half a teaspoon of that. Okay. And then just for funsies, um, I always have on hand some like mini chocolate chips for various reasons, but uh, for also reasons such as this, to make mug cakes or just to put, I don't know, just to eat just for fun, just because I like chocolate. So um, one, Let's see. I got this brand, the Enjoy Life. It's like the dairy-free, nut-free, gluten-free stuff, whatever. I just got them because they're mini chips. And I try to find, they have sugar-free ones, but those are so hard to find. Like, they don't really have them in our grocery stores. At least I don't ever find them. But one tablespoon of this gives you five grams of fat, nine carbs, and one protein. So I'm going to measure out one heaping tablespoon. <laughs> And then I'm going to take my almond milk and I'm just going to pour it in there until it's about a cake batter consistency. And then we're going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, now we're going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Pour in there. Okay. For 30 seconds. And here's a final product after only 30 seconds in the microwave. As you can see, it's a pretty, pretty dense um, cake in here and it's pretty moist. 30 seconds is all you need. Still going to be a little bit runny in there, but that's what we like. And you can see like the melted chocolate chips in there and that just makes it good. Again, the chocolate chips are um, optional. You don't have to do that because um, it's going to add some fat and some carbs in there. But I just like it because I'm not too worried about my fat and carb intake right now because I'm not in prep. So this is just a good way to change it up instead of drinking your protein just to eat it in a mug cake form so there you go hope y'all enjoy that so this is going to conclude the video of my favorite cellucor products that i like to take on a daily basis and how i take them and when and that's later mater he's later say hi <laughs> he's tired he's ready for bed i'm about to go get in the shower myself and I guess go to bed because, I don't know, I'm not feeling motivated to study again. Oops. Slater, are you annoyed? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'll just see y'all in the next one.